Hello, I am Adam Schnug, principal of Catasauqua High School. It is an honor and a privilege for me to speak at uh, the Catasauqua High School National Honor Society induction ceremony. I am proud to help you celebrate this wonderful occasion. The purpose of National Honor Society is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate desire to render service, to promote leadership, and develop character for students of secondary schools. You are being honored tonight for your achievement in character, service, leadership, and scholarship. These four traits or virtues, character, service, leadership, and scholarship, are needed now more than ever. Character is what's gonna get us through COVID-19. And service is how we're going to recover from COVID-19. And leadership is going to guide us through this. And scholarship is what we are gonna learn from this experience. And I just wanna say congratulations to all the CHS National Honor Society members being inducted today. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Andrew Gruber, National Honor Society Advisor for the Catasauqua Area School District Chapter. When Mr. Schnug first came to me and asked what my interest level was in taking over the National Honor Society, I will admit I was a bit apprehensive. I was not far removed from being a class advisor, which most students know is a position that requires a tremendous amount of time and occasionally the quote unquote pulling of teeth to try and get kids to come forward and participate in certain events. I told Mr. Schnug I'd think about it and come back to him with an answer in about a week or two. I weighed the pros and cons of this opportunity and realized there were not many cons in accepting the role of NHS advisor. At the forefront of my thinking was having the opportunity to work with students who are nominated into a program that asks for their full dedication and participation. The current members and prospective members of the National Honor Society did not involve themselves with this organization because they had to or because they were expected to. They involved themselves because they wanted to. Another deciding factor was knowing that I have had many of these students already in my freshman English class, all of them commendable students. The work ethic and motivation of these students speaks for itself through the outstanding effort they put forth inside and outside of the classroom. This is important as an NHS member because you are asked to uphold high standards academically and voluntarily through the accumulation of community service hours. Needless to say, after my first year as the National Honor Society advisor, I did not regret my decision. The group this year successfully raised multiple monetary donations to the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Our Winter Carnival not only put the students of Catasauqua in the holiday spirit before our elongated break, but it also raised close to $500 for an incredibly worthwhile cause. I was floored not only by this year's members' contributions during this carnival, but many of the incoming members also volunteered their time to run games for our student body to enjoy. The willingness of these juniors to volunteer led me to believe that my second year as NHS advisor will be just as rewarding as the first. I very much look forward to working with the incoming group of National Honor Society members. At this time, I would like to introduce a few of our current National Honor Society students who will be giving speeches highlighting the four qualities of an outstanding NHS member. Scholarship is to be created not by compulsion, but by awakening a pure interest in knowledge. Ralph Emerson. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate all the inductees on their accomplishments. The National Honor Society was built on a platform of four qualities, one in which I will be talking to you about today, scholarship. We are left to ask ourselves, what exactly is scholarship, as it is vaguely defined by academic study or achievement and learning of a higher level? In your mind, I want you to picture a scholar, and if you ask me, when I think of a scholar, I see a professor at a desk or a student studying. Think of Thomas Edison creating the electric light bulb, Benjamin Franklin creating countless theories regarding electricity, and our modern day scholars such as Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. We are left to ask ourselves what do all these people have in common? The truth is, some of the smartest people we learn about dropped out of school. And that is not to say dropping out makes you scholarly, or that being in school does not. It's not about achieving knowledge, but what you do once it has been achieved. You have all been in high school and have learned, but that is not what makes you a scholar. 
You ask questions, you choose actions that make your world better. You pursue knowledge and what interests you, and that is what makes you all scholarly. You pursue knowledge for knowledge's sake. You will all embark on your senior year in one of the most confusing times. Who knows if we'll be in classrooms in the fall or still attending Zoom classes. Knowledge and education run so much deeper than a classroom, and despite where you will be, I know you will all thrive. As you enter this last year, remember, pursue knowledge and make your world better. Your induction is a testament to the hard work you have all put in these past couple of years and your dedication towards scholarship. Congratulations. Hello. Hello. Um, sorry for some of the outside noise. I'm pretty upset that I'm not talking to you guys in person at the ceremony, but I'm recording this on my phone. But it's okay, because we will get through this. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about service. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary has def many definitions for service, but I found these two to be the most relatable to our topic. One of which being, the work performed by one that serves. And secondly, a contribution to the welfare of others. As National Honor Society members, we serve because, frankly, it will benefit both sides of the party. Our service is mostly found through community service. Community service provides a beneficial commodity to the community in which we live. While providing said service to the community, we as members will find benefits from the service as well. When you provide a service to somebody, there are oftentimes many benefits to gain from it. The receiving party will normally see t tangible benefits, but as service providers, we will see a different style of benefits. Through continuous service, you as a person will develop, and you will mature in the beneficial factors of society. Your moral compass will begin to guide you in the better directions. And through service, you will find yourself changing your life for the better. I've come to find in my own personal experience that as you begin to serve others, you never truly stop. Every day, you will find yourself assisting somebody, whether it is a mundane task or you're doing something that you've never seen yourself doing before. You will be there helping somebody. Through service, you will find a new part of yourself that will stick with you forever. You will build a stronger character and better, better yourself as a human being as well as fortify yourself as a trustworthy, good-hearted person in your school and community. In life, I have dedicated much of my time to the welfare of others. Through my position as a volunteer firefighter for the borough of North Catasauqua, I have met numerous amounts of people who have helped me in return. For instance, I have become a good acquaintance of the mayor of North Catasauqua. With this newfound acquaintance, I have in turn opened many doors to people who may be key factors to my life someday. You never know who you will meet when you're helping somebody else. But that's not the end game of service. Your service will be a direct representation of yourself. You're not here to benefit from service. You're here to make sure other people benefit. But in turn, you will actually find benefits for yourself. So I know all of you carry a good head on your shoulders and will have a loving heart for your community. And I believe that you guys will all show yourselves as impeccable members of National Honor Society and you will serve your community and school with great respect. I congratulate you guys. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. John Quincy Adams Leadership is a quality possessed by some of the most influential people in history, everyday heroes, or even inspirational fictional characters. It is a trait that is often portrayed through the strongest, most outspoken people. When we think of a leader, we imagine the person in charge of a group. Google even defines leadership as the action of leading a group of people or an organization. However, you do not have to be the person in charge or do outrageous good deeds to be a leader. Anyone, even the most shy, quiet people in the world, can lead by example and have the qualities of a good leader. Leadership means taking initiative, inspiring others, and making a positive influence on the people around you. Leaders help others achieve their goals or work with others to accomplish a common goal. They are resourceful, courageous, confident, and sacrifice their own personal interests by putting other people's needs before their own. Leadership is necessary in all aspects of our lives, and with these qualities, you will no doubt be successful in all of your future endeavors. As newly selected members of the National Honor Society, you have all proven to have the qualities of a leader. Whether you have been a leader in the classroom, in a sport or other activity, or even through community service, each and every one of you has been recognized for your role as a leader to your peers. Thank you and congratulations to all the new members of the National Honor Society.
A man's character may be learned from the adjectives which he habitually uses in conversation. Mark Twain. The quality of a person's character has been emphasized to me my whole life. My father has always said that you can only carry your character with you to your grave. What defines your character? Or even better, what is character? Google defines character by the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. But it is much more than that. Character is what you want people to say about you when you aren't around. It is the congregation of traits that make up who you are. It's your personality. It's your set of morals. It's your integrity. It's how you respond to situations when things aren't going your way. It is simply what you are made of. I would like to congratulate all of the newly inducted members. As a member of Catasauqua High School's National Honor Society, you have been selected to represent your school's most upstanding, self-motivated, academically conscious, and dependable students. This is a highly respected and prestigious honor, and your character must reflect that. When you are faced with a challenge or an obstacle to overcome, the steps you take are a direct reflection of who you are on the inside. How you handle these challenges will show your true test of character. Are you level-headed under pressure? Are you able to manage your time when deadlines come close? Are you able to confront a problem head-on and figure out a solution? These will be the true tests of your character. High school is full of situations in which your character will be tested. Balancing your academics, sports, jobs, and these are all just the tip of the iceberg. Now it is time to use your skills, learn from your character, and give back to the community. Use this last year of high school to grow and strengthen your character so that when it is questioned, you can answer for yourself, what am I made of? Thank you. Without further ado, the Catasauqua Area School District Chapter of the National Honor Society is proud to proclaim to all viewing this ceremony that membership has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the National Honor Society. Olivia Becker, Cassidy Fischel, Donovan Gare, Angelina Great, Emily Rivera, Alexis Ruchatz, Sabrina Safadi, Alex Treber, and Derek Troxel. I would just like to thank this year's group of NHS members one final time before closing this ceremony. Mackenzie Brobst, Noel Cruz, Jacob Drummer, Gabriel Gurea, Haley Lewis, Marissa Montanez, Montana Muller, Taylor Pattison, Matthew Smith, Catherine Verena, and Sarah Yandrasitz. This has certainly been a school year that many of us will remember for the rest of our lives. I would also like to wish all of my departing National Honor Society members a heartfelt good luck with all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Christina Lutz Demling, Assistant Superintendent for the Catasauqua Area School District. It is my pleasure to be here today to recognize and commend our National Honor Society inductees. Your achievements in the realms of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character are distinguished. It is truly an honor to be inducted into the prestigious Catasauqua High School National Honor Society. You should be incredibly proud of all of your hard work. You are passionate, thoughtful, creative, and mature role models. Additionally, your leadership skills are outstanding and your drive to inspire others is exceptional. I urge you to continue to positively impact the society around you and always take pride in your Rough Rider roots. 
I look forward to your very bright futures. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to you and your families on the distinct privilege of being inducted into the National Honor Society. In the words of Calvin Coolidge, no one was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. Undoubtedly, you have worked hard to earn this achievement, exhibiting the tenets of character, service, leadership, and scholarship. As the original Rough Rider Teddy Roosevelt once said, it is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. You have tried and you have succeeded. Congratulations to you and your families on this remarkable achievement of National Honor Society inductee. Congratulations.